went over to his loft. And there he was, staring at his badge and his gun. Like somehow they had betrayed him, you know? Like that badge is the reason why Michael's in prison. It couldn't be dedicated, honorable Dante's fault. So I picked up the gun and I put my finger on the trigger. Carly. <laughs> what, did, did anyone see you enter or leave the loft? Was He's any... fine. He's fine. And he's probably feeling pretty good about himself right now. I mean, I was brilliant, Jason. I took a page right out of Dante's book. I told him everything he wanted to hear. How it's not his fault that Michael's in prison. It's all on me because I chose to be with Sonny and I brought Michael into this dangerous life. Hey, don't worry, I didn't lay it on too thick. I told Dante how much I hated that he turned Michael in. But I gotta tell you, the hardest part was not letting Dante know how much I despise him. You don't have to worry about Dante. And then there's Lulu. Man, it was priceless. She came over here tonight. Because she wants me to stop you. I'm supposed to ask you to keep away from Dante. Okay, you asked. I went to Lulu's apartment that night. Do you remember? Do you remember when we found out that Dante was hiding Michael and I went over there and I begged her to tell me where Michael was. I begged her to keep Michael safe. Mm -hmm. And she chose Dante. But now she's knocking on my door and she's begging me to look out for Dante. I'm supposed to be loyal to Lulu. I'm supposed to be merciful to Lulu. Because Dante's such a nice guy, because she's so in love with Dante, because Dante was only doing his job. <laughs> I told Lulu that Dante would be safe. And that you wouldn't hurt him. Carly. And you're not going to. You're not going to lay one finger on that son of a bitch or his backstabbing girlfriend. You're going to leave Dante and Lulu alone. Because I'm going to make him suffer. Just like Michael's suffering. Is that why you went? How was Michael when you saw him? Brave, wonderful, never once acted like he was afraid. What'd you tell him? That he could survive prison. You told me to believe, so I do. I told him that he was strong, and then he started teasing me. That's how Michael was dealing with going to prison. He was trying to make me feel better. Uh, sometimes it helps feel like you're doing something good for somebody. Mm -hmm. He's a hero. You know, he's a hero. He saved Jocelyn. I couldn't stop Claudia from taking her, but he could, so why? Why, God, is this happening? Is this why he woke up from a coma? So, so he could just go to prison? God has nothing to do with this. God let it happen, Jason. We all let it happen. <laughs> He was so brave today. I mean, there he was in an orange jumpsuit and shackles, and they're walking him out. He could barely walk, and he looked back at me and smiled like everything's going to be okay. He looked so young. You know, he... He didn't look like a man. He looked like a little boy. And all I could see was every time that he fell and got back up and he looked at me like, Mom, everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> but he was just a baby.